Well YouTubers, here we are. This is the cliff where the Albemarle is out there somewhere. And this is the area where she is, just out there. So, and I'm here on the coast path that runs all the way around the UK. And uh, just come to do a bit of uh, wrecking, a bit of investigation work. Sorry about the wind, but somehow I've got to get down there. I've got to find a way of getting down there without having to use the boat. Last time I was up here was with Phil when we first um, put this project together. So it's, uh, it's a bit weird being up here on my own this time. Nice to see the uh, good old uh, British public uh, still keeping up tradition and leaving lots of litter around. There's a nice crisp packet there and a, another bit of paper there. Just past a beer can and an empty plastic bottle, all on the coast path, how nice. Beer cans. Pasty wrappers. So here I am at uh, down at the point, just the wall. This is important to us because this monument is one of the um, trajectory points that we work off when we're out there diving. So I thought it'd be a good idea to come here and see actually what it's like up close. That's Polpero just in there, where that boat's going. If you can see that boat, and then these are the rocks. And then that's Talon Bay just there. Right, so stroke of luck, I, um, I saw these two guys on the footpath carrying fishing rods and I said, oh, is you going down to the shoreline? They said, yeah, that's all right. Show us where it is. So they took me down this little path. I don't normally follow strange men down little paths, but on this occasion it was worth it. So what we've got here is we're almost down to the shoreline from the cliff up there. It's actually a bit of a slog. I wouldn't fancy doing it with all my kit, but beach here apparently which we go from well, I'm gonna, gonna go find it now. Here's a little beach. Ah uh, some rubbish. Can't decide whether that's rubbish or it's a, a boy, homemade boy. There's a flip-flop there as well. That's all that's left of the last guy that came down here. Oh, what's this? Footprints. Somebody's been here before us. I found a cave. To get out, I've got to climb up there. Follow the light, Dave, follow the light. Up to 
be honest, there's uh, it's actually very little rubbish here, which I'm really, really pleased about. It's absolutely nothing, apart from that flip-flop up there, possibly that drum, oil drum up there. Where is it? There, that might be rubbish, or it might be a boy. But apart from that, it's really nothing. Oh, look, spoke too soon. Oh, what's this? Plastic bag. Don't, please, please don't be a poo bag. Please don't be a poo bag. Uh, it's empty anyway. We should be taking that back with us. So nothing swallows it. Because that, you see, in the water, looks like a jellyfish. And there's lots of mammals out there that love eating jellyfish. Like seals and stuff, so it's whales. So that was, they'd think that was a, a nice hearty meal, when in fact it'll probably kill them eventually. Slow death, wrapped around their stomach or their intestines. There's a scuba diving uh, knife sheath there, holder. And there's a shoe there. So I'll take those back with me. Put them in the bin. Right, so I've reached this uh, oil barrel and uh, he's not attached to anything, it's just loose, it's just washed in. So uh, I'll be taking that back as well for uh, recycling. This is the little path that goes down to the shoreline from the cliff. So this is the best one yet, Dove Men's Clean Comfort, what is it, uh, de deodorant, a can of deodorant, just found on the coast path. It's another can. Alright, so that was a, an energy drink. I had the energy to drink it, but not to take the can home. Here's the old, good old Carlin can. can. I'm so bloody knackered I can't talk. Oh, and a nice uh, plastic drinks bottle there. And a chocolate bar wrapper. And two steps forward and another beer can. I'm running out of hands now. I just, I, I meant to bring a bag, a black sack, and I just forgot, so. Oh no, another one. What am I doing here? Ah. Luckily I've just walked up to a John Fowler campsite. So I'm going to manage to uh, put all this in the recycling bins. Everything we found. Oh, I'm glad to see the van. Right, I'm absolutely knackered. So that was interesting, wasn't it? We got down to the shoreline, to that little beach. Uh, it's not really practical because uh, carrying all your kit down there would just be a nightmare. It's bad enough in shorts and a t-shirt and trainers. So that's uh, that's not going to happen. Uh, but we did some litter picking. Collected quite a lot of litter that the uh, scumbags had uh, left behind. I just don't understand. How can anyone do that? How can you walk through something like that and just drop a can? or a packet of crisps or whatever. I just don't get people that could do that. Ah, uh, anyway. 
one of those cans has something definitely dubious in it because it stinks. So I'm using the old um, antibacterial hand wash now, uh, which I keep in the van. So uh, give me hands a good wash for that before I start sucking my thumb again. Anyway, thanks for watching that. Uh, I hope it was interesting for you. Uh, catch you next time.